Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Michael McCarville. In this episode, we're going to build the Ridgeway Sand House in HO scale. Uh, Ridgeway was the basically milepost 0, 0.0 in um, the Rio Grande Southern Railroad in Southwest Colorado. So this is the engine facility. This is where all the cool stuff is. So we're going to do the sand house next. We already did the boxcar that sits next to the roundhouse. We're going to build out this entire area. So if you like the Rio Grande Southern, or you like engines, uh, roundhouses, you know, all the facilities around it, um, hang loose because we're going to do this whole area. So let's just talk about the sand house. Now, the sand house is in, the, in that photo in the upper right. It's that uh, long bin with sand in it. It's also got a tree in there. So hang loose because we're going to put a tree in ours. And then uh, that little uh, drying house that sits next to it with a smoke jack coming out of it. Um, that's the sand house. Now, we did a similar one for Durango. But you remember that one has a um, you know delivery tower, so the hose would go over to the engine, it would pull up, and it would fill up the sand dome. Uh, it uses sand for uh, to increase traction. So this is all shovels, buckets, everything else. They did the same thing with the gondola sitting on the hill towards the um, roundhouse. You know, shovel coal into the tender, shovel sand in, put it in buckets fill up the sand dome. So, you know, everything's very manual on the Rio Grande Southern. There's not a whole lot of um, labor <laughs> assistance. Uh, so, um, so uh, I do want to thank Bill Banta for allowing me to use, mm -hmm. uh, continue to use his kits. Uh, we're going to do a whole bunch more um, Ridgeway structures. Um, and uh, Bill, thank you. Uh, I do appreciate it. And also the gentleman from the Friends of Cumbers and Toltec. I'm going to put links to both uh, Bill's site and the uh, Friends site. Uh, tons of photos. I lost count 70,000 something over that um, of photos on their website. So if you're doing any kind of Denver Rio Grande Western, you're doing any type of Rio Grande Southern, check them out. Um, it is very, very rich um, of all the resources that they have on there. Um, so let's talk about the structure. So it's basically four walls and a roof. Cool. Uh, very similar to some of the other stuff we built. And then a bin. Now, the bin is basically um, a bunch of walls reinforced on the outside by posts that go into the ground. And then there's nut bolt washer castings on the end with uh, um, metal rods that stop the walls from uh, pulling out this way. Problem is, when the bin isn't uh, full of sand, it has a tendency to kind of fall in on itself because there's nothing really pushing it out. So uh, you'll notice in later years that the sand bin actually starts to kind of fall in on itself. Um, and that's kind of represented in the kit. So you got to kind of pick the era where you're, when you're going to do it. Also, the roof, um, there's times when the roof looks looks great. It looks like they put a new one on it. And then other ones, like in this photo, there's chunks of basically bare wood um, that's exposed. And I kind of like that. So we're going to uh, emulate that. Gives it a little more flavor, a little more character. Um, also, the order that we do things in, uh, I pre-stained everything just like the instructions, but when it got to actually color in the structure, the, the drying house, that, that four walls, um, what it is, I basically took uh, the four walls, glued them together, got everything nice and tight, put the doors on, everything else. Just before I put the roof on, I went ahead and, and got it that kind of red color that looks like it hasn't been painted in a while. It's got some grunge on it, and it looks like it's been faded, and the, the, a lot of the paint is peeled off but it still has this reddish color to it with a little bit of paint. So anyway, uh, change the order around, but every little step is included in the video. So we'll go through and we'll do the um, parts overview and then we'll go through step by step and then wrap it up um, uh, with some photos uh, at the end. Um, there's a couple of things that I did besides that um, as far as the uh, structure itself. Uh, number one, you can see there's sand in the sand bin. There's not a ton. I filled it up a little bit more. There's also a tree in there. So hang loose. We're going to check that out. Uh, I put a I put a tree. Looks like um, not much happens inside the sand bin as far as maintenance because there's a tree growing in there. Um, also, the, uh, the roof of the drying house was a little long. Um, so I trimmed it up to actually match the photos. So if yours is a little bit long, just take a little bit of time to double check that and make sure it looks good. Um, and uh, the bin itself, I filled up the sand so it looks like it's a little earlier when there's actually a little more, a little more activity and you needed more sand. I just used pink foam, extruded foam, carved it, shaped it, and then um, 
covered it with basically craft paint and then put sand on top of it so that the sand would stick. And then uh, I hit it with a little bit of, of um, clear Elmer's glue with 50% uh, water, 50% glue, a little bit of dish detergent to kind of break up the viscosity of the water so it would, you know, flow out better. It wouldn't bubble up on everything. So um, other than that, most everything's covered in the video. So uh, check the notes uh, for links and that type of thing. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started and we'll go through the, uh, the build for this. Okay, guys, that's going to do it. Uh, I want to thank, once again, uh, the guys from Friends of Cumbersome Toltec. Love the historical photos. Check them out if you're into that. I I just spent so much time on their site. It's awesome. And then uh, um, also Bantam Auto Works for allowing us to. But now we're going to build uh, a bunch more buildings. So hang loose, and we're going to um, you know continue to build out this entire yard area, including the uh, all the structures that you see, a bunch of structures you don't see, bunch of the motive power and um, definitely some of the maintenance equipment so big plans uh, hang with us and uh, we will get all of that done in time so it'll take a little while so um, until next time guys stay safe out there and happy modeling see ya